when there is no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. What's up, YouTube? Marty McFly back again. Today we are talking about Dawn of the Dead, 2004, the remake directed by Zack Snyder. Now, this came out 20 years ago, almost to the day. It came out March 2004. I'm filming this in May, so saw this in theaters opening weekend. Um, I still remember it like it was yesterday. Um, I remember, um, like, the week before this came out in the theaters, they played the opening of this movie on TV. I think it was, like, on ABC or some channel. They played, like, the first ten minutes, basically, the, like, the opening of this movie. They played it on TV to get everybody hyped up. And I still remember watching that. And uh, then me and my friend went to see it in theaters that that friday that it opened and uh had a fucking blast so this is the remake of the uh, classic george romero um 1978 dawn of the dead um and uh i remember i remember when this remake came out everybody was like how the fuck can you remake such a classic movie blah 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 blah, blah. it's going to suck and yeah this is a classic movie but I personally, I think this is a better movie. Not that this is bad. This is a classic. But the remake just does it better. So, yeah. The premise of this movie, I, obviously, you've seen the original. You've seen the remake, whatever. You know the premise. Um, zombie outbreak. People hold up in a mall and um, try to survive. <laughs> uh, one of the big big differences in the remake as opposed to the uh, George Romero movie is in the George Romero movie the zombies are just slow very slow moving like your typical classic zombie just walking corpses just you know shuffling around and uh, in this fucking movie these guys are like running like 100 miles an hour like these are they're fucking like olympic sprinting fucking like running like hauling ass so depending on your preference of zombies i mean do you like fast zombies like this movie or like 28 days later where they're running personally i prefer the slow moving groups of just shambling like to me that's that's scarier like yeah you can get away from them easier but at the same time it's scarier when like you're you're like cornered by them and they're just slowly moving in and you can't get away that's i think scarier to me but it is still scary when they're running at you fucking 200 miles an hour <laughs> um so yeah they're like that's the biggest difference in this movie is that they are running these zombies are running also the makeup the zombie makeup in this movie is not good uh, i know tom savini did the makeup for the zombies in this but they look like shit they're like purple and um they they just look like a joke like they're just the zombies don't look good in that movie and again it's a great movie i'm not taking anything away from that movie um i still think it's a great movie it's a classic um not as good as night of the living dead that's my favorite george romero um zombie movie they're coming to get you barbara i actually really really enjoy the um Night of the Living Dead remake from 1990 that was directed by Tom Savini. That's a great fucking remake. 
I think that's up there in my list of favorite remakes along with this. Say Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, The Hills Have Eyes, Friday the 13th. Well, Friday the 13th isn't a remake. It's a reboot. It's the first four movies wrapped into one. Um, yeah. Last House on the Left is a good remake. Uh, Piranha. Um, yeah. That, and then there's really bad remakes. Rob Zombie. <coughs> uh, Psycho. What the fuck? But Dawn of the Dead. Uh, like I said, I remember seeing this in theaters and just loving it from the opening scene like just fucking balls to the wall like right away like starts out like this girl this nurse she's coming home from work um everything's still normal the zombie like the zombie apocalypse hasn't really happened yet and then she gets home to her to her husband and they start um so they they're watching tv and i forget what they're watching i don't know some reality show or some stupid shit and then they go take a shower and have sex in the shower. And while they're in the shower, there's a news broadcast on TV. So obviously they're in the shower. They can't see it. And uh, so they think, they, you know, they don't know anything. And then they go to bed. And I guess it's the next. Yeah, it's the next morning. Um, the the little girl, the next door neighbor, who, who we see earlier in the movie, um, like roller skating. Um, she breaks into their house and attacks the husband, just fucking rips his neck out. Call an ambulance! <laughs> and, uh, dude, it's fucking brutal. <laughs> and so he's on the bed, just fucking covered in blood, and she's, she's a nurse, so she's Kind of knows what to do. She's trying to help him. Apply pressure. All this shit. She's trying to dial 911. The fucking... All the phones are... Phone lines are busy or whatever. And she can't get a hold of anybody. And so, you know... I, I'm not sure the rule... The time frame of how long it takes to turn into a zombie. It's always... It always seems to be different in every movie. Like... Here, the husband turns into a zombie within like 20 seconds. But later in the movie, there's this group of people that arrive at the mall and they bring this this woman in in a she's this big fucking woman she they bring her in in a fucking wheelchair not oh, not a wheelchair a uh, wheelbarrow sorry wheelbarrow not a wheelchair they bring they have to bring her in in a fucking wheelbarrow because she's huge um and uh so she's obviously in, infected but she doesn't turn till much later and also one of the guys that comes in there he's like the father of this girl and uh he's been bit too but he also doesn't turn until much later on so i don't i don't know how long it like it doesn't make really doesn't make sense like the husband in the opening turned after like 20 seconds and turned into a zombie after like 20 seconds and then later in the movie like people don't turn till much fucking later so i don't i don't know if there's a definitive answer there So they hold up in the mall and uh, they meet up with uh, these three security guards. The one guy with the fucking handlebar, handlebar mustache. He's fucking hilarious. Um, he's my favorite. He's probably my favorite character in the movie. And then uh, you got, um, what's, what's the kid's name? He's in like Air Bud. Uh, he's in the first Wrong Turn movie for a minute. He's like one of the first people to die. Oh, he's in uh, Frozen by a Adam Green's Frozen. Not that stupid fucking Disney movie. I'm talking about the horror movie Frozen on the ski lift by Adam Green. Not that stupid Disney shit. And there's another guy. I I've seen him in something else. I can't remember what I've seen him in. But anyway, um, so there's the three security guards that are at the mall. Um, so so oh, I'm skipping ahead. So before they get to the mall, the, the, the wife... The nurse that her husband attacks her and shit, she she gets the fuck out of Dodge and she crashes her car. And then we get this fucking awesome intro uh, with Johnny Cash playing when the man comes around. And it's just a really, really good music 
choice for this intro. And uh, so after that, she so, so so she wakes up in the car, and Ving Rhames is outside the car, and he's he's a police officer, and he's just pointing the shotgun at her because he doesn't know if she's a zombie or not or whatever. He doesn't know what's, he doesn't he doesn't know her from a hole in the wall. Um, so he discovers that she's still human, so she tags along with him. So they start heading towards the mall, and they catch up with uh, another group of people. There's um, like. Oh, what the fuck's the guy's name? Oh, is it Omar Epps? No, it's not. Is it Omar Epps? No, it's fucking. Uh, it's not Omar Epps. It's it's the guy from. I still know what you did last summer. And then he's got his pregnant wife, and then there's another guy with them. So there's three of them. So they they hook up with them, and then they go to the mall. And uh, yeah, so they go to the mall, and then they meet up with the security guards. And the security guards are just like total assholes. They're like, get the fuck out of here. You're not, you're not, pff, you're not staying here. Um, so, but eventually like, well, so, so the security guards do take them in, but they have them like locked up, you know, in like this, you know, in like a store where like when the mall's closed, they have the, the, those gates they shut. So they have them like locked in, in the stores. So they, whatever, they're like, they're prisoners basically. I don't, I don't know. Cause they don't trust them, whatever. So eventually, eventually they all like kind of become friends and work together and stuff. And um, there's the, <laughs> there's the guy uh, across the parking lot that works at a gun store. I think his name is Andy. I think his name's Andy. Um, and uh, <laughs> this is just this, this is a funny back and forth moment with uh, him and uh, Ving Rhames, where like they have like a. Like a, uh, like a white, like a whiteboard where you have like a mark, like, you know, like the, like the, the mark, like magic markers where you can write on it, like dry, dry erase markers. You can write on it and wipe it off and stuff. So like, hold, they're like talking to each other like that. Like they're playing chess and like, and then they, there's a funny moment where they're, um, he's like holding up like celebrities names. Cause the guy, like the guy across from them is like shooting zombies that look like these celebrities so he's like holding up like <laughs> it's fucking funny it's just a little game they're playing to pass the time and um and then like another like like i said earlier another group of people show up like you have the the big fat lady in the wheelbarrow and like a few other people you got um the guy from uh modern family i think the actor's name is ty ty burrell he's actually my second favorite character in this movie besides the handlebar mustache security guard uh, Ty Burrell is really funny in this movie. I can't remember what his name is in this movie, uh, but he's fucking hilarious. Um, so, yeah, so now you just have this group of, like, 10, 12 people in this mall, and, um, you know. And they they basically decide that they got to get the fuck out of there. So they go to the basement. Not, not the basement, the parking garage. And um, they they have these two, like, buses like big van bus like little buses and they soup them up you know they fucking put armor on them and barbed wire and all this shit so they can escape and eventually they escape um and pfft, they they do escape but you know they they go to so ty burrell's character has a boat so they're all deciding to go to this boat so they can sail off to this island. And they make it to the boat. A few of them don't make it. Um, Ty Burrell gets turned into a zombie. Again, Ty Burrell gets infected and turns into a zombie after like 10 seconds. What's the time frame of being infected and turning into a zombie? It's never cohesive. It's never like... It's all over the place. In every zombie movie, it's always fucking different. Uh, Shaun of the Dead, fucking the roommate. Um, what's the roommate's name? Pete. You have um, Sean and Ed, right? The two main characters, and they have a fucking roommate that they hate, and he gets bit the night before, and he doesn't turn into a zombie till like the next day. So what is the time frame between being bitten or infected and becoming a zombie? Like, 28 days later, the guy gets fucking blood 
drips into his eyeball, he becomes infected in like four seconds. So what is the time frame? Someone please comment down below. What the fuck is going on? Uh, so, so they all, most of them make it to the boat. Like I said, a few of them get killed. Ty Burrell gets infected and gets shot. Um, the handlebar security guard guy gets cornered in the bus and, and blows a propane tank up and kills himself and kills a bunch of zombies. Um, the other main guy, um, he gets bit at some point and, um, so he just stays behind. I think he shoots himself like off, off screen. I think you hear like a gunshot. And so the last few people sail to the island and we find out that they land on the island, but there's zombies there. So basically they're all just dead. <laughs> Nobody survives this fucking movie. Like how depressing of an ending is that? That's like the mist. Well, maybe it's not as bad as the mist. That's, that's a bleak fucking ending. If he only waited 10 more seconds, <sighs> that poor guy. If you've seen the mist, you know what I'm talking about. Shut up, Michael. Nobody asked you. Ah! Fucking Michael Myers. Um, so, Dawn of the Dead. That's the question here. 20 years later, does it hold up? Fuck yeah, it does. Great fucking movie. Love this movie. Loved it in theaters. Loved it fucking on DVD. And, uh... Yeah, this is this is not the unrated version. This is just the rated R version. I don't have the unrated version, but from what I understand, it's just a little bit more gore. Like it's nothing special. Like most unrated movies, this it's the same fucking movie with like two extra seconds of blood or maybe an extra shot of like a girl's boobs. Like unrated, dude. It's just a gimmick. It's 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 the same goddamn movie. <sighs> same fucking movie. But Dawn of the Dead. Two thumbs up. I love this fucking remake. It's definitely in my list of top 10 remakes. Um, leave your comments down below. Did you see this in theaters? Do you remember seeing this in theaters? Do you remember seeing that 10 minute long thing on TV where they showed the intro to this movie? Um, how did how did you feel when you heard they were remaking this movie? Were you like, that's blasphemy? Or were you like, oh, let's see what they can do? Me, personally, I was like, this could be interesting. I mean, it's probably going to suck, but it could be interesting. And boy, was I wrong. It did not suck. Fucking awesome movie. Really good movie. Really good zombie movie. Um, like I said, definitely in my, in my list of top 10 remakes. So, guys, that's my video. Um, yeah. Comment down below what you thought of this movie. Like. Hit that fucking like button, man. Comment. Subscribe. Show me some love. All right?